welcome. This video is for all the AP Chem students out there preparing for the May exam. What I'd like to do is take a look at a multiple choice question that is true to the nuances the College Board includes in its multiple choice questions. Let's do some chemistry. Consider the three solutions listed in the table above. Which one, if any, has the greatest electrical conductivity and why? Now, before I read the answers, I'm going to think for just a second. They're telling me that I've got three solutions and they want to know the greatest electrical conductivity. Well, if a solution is going to conduct electricity, it has to have ions present in the solution. So in other words, if they're looking for the one with the greatest electrical conductivity, then I need to find the solution that has the most ions dissolved in it. So let's analyze the table that they give us and consider each particular species that's in solution, starting with the first one. They give us 1.0 molar CH3CH2OH. Now, all of the atoms contained in that species are all nonmetals, the carbon, the hydrogen, and the oxygen atoms. If a particular species consists of all non-metal atoms, then it is a covalent molecule. Now, since covalent molecules form through a covalent bond, where those atoms form orbital overlaps and allow their electrons to share common space, they do not have the ability to form ions in solution. So, covalent molecules are considered to be non-electrolytes when in solution. Now, non-electrolytes are not going to conduct any electricity because they lack those ions. Let's see what they give us for the second solution. They give us 1.0 molar HC7H5O2. Now again, you've got all non-metal atoms present here. So there is covalent bonding involved. However, this species is ever so slightly different. This species lists this H out in front of that carbon. When a molecules written in this fashion that H is an acidic hydrogen. So that tells me that this particular species is an acid. Now since it's not one of the six strong acids, it's going to be considered a weak acid. Weak acids only partially dissociate into ions when placed in water which makes them really good weak electrolytes. Now, a weak electrolyte is going to conduct some electricity, more than a non-electrolyte will, but let's take a look at our third option. They give us 1.0 molar NaCl. Now sodium, Na, is a metal, and Cl is a non-metal. This indicates that this particular species is an ionic compound. Now ionic compounds form by an ionic bond, which is the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. So here, when a ionic compound is placed into water, it's going to dissociate and form lots of ions, making this particular species a strong electrolyte. Now the more ions dissolved in water, the better the ability of that species to conduct electricity.
So let's take a look at what our options for an answer are. In letter A, they tell you 1.0 molar CH3CH2OH because its molecules can form hydrogen bonds. Now here's where the College Board likes to be a little bit tricky. That is technically a true statement. Because in this particular molecule, the first one, the H is bonded to the O, that allows it to form hydrogen bonds between two separate molecules. However, the hydrogen bonds are not going to allow it to conduct electricity. So that's not a great option. Letter B states that 1.0 molar HC7H5O2 would have the greatest electrical conductivity because its molecules have the most atoms. Again, that's a true statement. That particular species has the most atoms out of all three species. However, it's the amount of ions formed when dissolved in water that's going to affect the electrical conductivity. So again, that's not a great option. Letter C states that 1.0 molar NaCl, because NaCl completely dissociates in H2O to produce ions. There's the key. The more ions produced, the greater the electrical conductivity. So I like letter C, let's just check letter D. Letter D says all three solutions have the same electrical conductivity because the concentrations are all the same. Yes, all three are at a concentration of 1.0 molar, but since all three species already produce a varying amount of ions in solution, the, they're going to conduct a varying amount of electricity to begin with. So D is not a great option either. So the answer here would be letter C. I hope this helps you prepare for the AP Chem exam. Make sure you keep practicing and check back for more Chem content.